Welcome to Wheel of Hawks. And now your host, Sven Svensvinson. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to Wheel of Hawks. I'm Sven Svensvinson. Let's meet our contestants. Today we've got Tree Root and Kent Clark. All right, Kent, our first thousand dollar throw up. Phrases. I'd like to solve Sven. Is it a Hawk TV in? That is correct, Kent. Let's go. I'm Ben. I'm Miles. Welcome to Chill Times. Ben and Miles. Dang it, Miles. <laughs> Dang it, Ben. <laughs> In today's episode of Chill Times with Ben and Miles, we're going to be rating water fountains, all of them in the school. On a scale of 1 to 13, 8 being the highest. We're rating them on factors of coldness, taste, and the chill factor. Alright, we don't have much time, so let's just get right into it. Number 1. 13 and 4.5. Number 2. 6 and 5. Number 3. 3 and 13. Number 4. 10 and 6.5. Number 5. 5 and 5. Number 6. 4 and 11.5. Number 7. 6 and 10. Number 8. 10 and 9.5. Number 9. 5 and 13. Number 10. 8. Number 11. 2. Number 12. 3 and 3. Number 13. 1. Number 14. 9.5. Number 15. 4.5. Number 16. 12. Number 17. 2 and 0. Number 18. 4.5 and 12.5. Number 19. 1.5 and 1.5. Number 20. 13. Number 21. 2. Number 22. 1. Number 10 on the list is the only one that got a perfect date. As you can see, there's a lot of different drinking fountains in the school to choose from. And if you like bad ones, well, you know the ones to go to. Exactly. Well, I'm Miles. I'm Ben. This has been Chill Times with Miles and Ben. I have some bad news for you. <laughs> this is the last time we'll be seeing each other. You don't get it, do you? You ask the same questions every week. How's school? How's your job? Are you having any proud moments? All I have are proud moments.
What's up, Park TV? Check out my crib. As you come up the stairs, you're greeted by my arcade machine that I built with Raspberry Pi. This thing is super fun and an awesome senior project. To the right of that, you'll see my bed. The Star Wars sheet set is one of my favorite things ever. At the base of my bed, you'll notice my record player. I've got 77 records currently, and there's a few ones that I really like, especially this Woodstock one. It's awesome. Then, I've got my turntables, guitar, and keyboard. Music has always been a super huge part of my life, and there are many instruments in my room. Then you have my desk. I work on a lot of important things here, as you can probably see. Some of it is entertainment fun. Then you've got my entertainment center, which is actually for entertainment. I've got a couple consoles and then a TV hooked up. It's not big, but it gets the job done. I also love the vinyl sticker of the Star Destroyer. Now you have my random shelves. I've got a lot of weird knickknacks on here and even some Lego sets, as you can see. Lego Harry Potter. Now, my closet is open, I don't have an actual closet, and you may notice that there are a lot of shoes. I've got 32 pairs. Alright, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the tour of my bedroom. Stay safe, stay clean, catch you next week. This week on Hawk's Cafeteria. Four amateur chefs compete for... One million dollars! On today's show, you idiots, we're gonna be baking muffins. Blueberry muffins. Any questions? No, no chef. chef! Nope. Nope. You address me as chef. Unbelievable. And put this on. Oh, uh, to be honest, I don't even know anything about cooking. I'm just here to try to win a million dollars. I'm just here to represent all the short chefs here in the world and show that short people can cook also. My blueberry muffin recipe has been handed down for years, and I expect nothing less than a win today. Winslow Perry, Cook So Hard University. Right, you guys got 30 minutes. Now get to work! I need more wrist action, little man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We need to get it together, gentlemen. Mom, Mom, what is the blueberry muffin recipe again? Okay, all right. Are you on the phone with your mom? No phones in the kitchen. This is terrible. Are you sleeping in my kitchen? Wake up. And three, two. One, hands up! Chef Winslow, bring me your muffin. What the? Yeah, it's a blue cheese muffin, just like you asked. This is pathetic. Next! Chef Luke Fennec, bring me your muffin. Perfection. <laughs> Chef Grayson, bring me your muffin. I didn't finish my muffin. I couldn't reach the oven, Chef. Next! Chef Dylan, bring me your muffin. I know it's a little bit undercooked, but I think it's out of it. That might be the nastiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Well, gentlemen, the results are in. And the winner is... None of you. Because all of you guys are terrible. Your muffins stink.
Now get out of my kitchen. Hawk's Cafeteria. Look, man, I just thought I'd move here for the culture. This isn't what I wanted, dude. It's August. All I brought was a flannel. I, I didn't think I would. Yeah, man, this white t-shirt, the only coat that I packed. Sam? Someone told me to keep bear spray in my car. There's a lot out here. I didn't realize that it had to be cold to ski. One day it was like 68 in San Francisco. I had to wear three layers. I was there that same day. I was almost crying. It was so cold. There's nothing that scares me more than bears. Man, I guess now that we live in Montana, we really gotta get with the dress code, bro. This makes me miss surfing. Why is everyone honking at me? Because of my California plates. The stoke level right now is at like a two, I think. Stoke level right now isn't high, bro. And I don't know why the locals hate us so much. My whole family's moving here in November. Oh, nice. So I just found out yesterday that there turns out there's not surfing here. I'm like, not Wait, too stoked about bro, it. Bro, bro, there's no surfing at all? There's not. No, I, I brought my board and I can't use it. But I heard people talking about boarding. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. People are crazy here, man. I just want to go back to Cali. <laughs> Wednesday forecast is very warm for southwestern Montana. These will be some of the warmest temperatures we've seen so far this spring season, and some of you could see your first round of 80 degree temperatures for tomorrow. Again, Governor Tony Evers is issuing a statewide stay-at-home order to slow the spread of the coronavirus. While asking people to stay home as the spread of coronavirus calls for a response he was hoping to avoid. There's a recognition of our interdependence that requires of this moment that we direct a statewide order for people to stay at home.
the feeling you get when you're doing it is indescribable. The sport's really young. It's hard to find sponsorships and a lot of support just because it's not as well known as it, I think it should be. It's something that I'm very passionate about and I think that it's something that everyone should get into. I'm Miles Showers, I am 20 years old, and I'm a professional snow shoveler. This is weird. Hello, my name is Stefan Kingston and I do declare I'm one of the most experienced tree hunters of this era. I've been 16 years on this lovely planet and every, every single moment of that year I have been hunting trees with my pops, with my grandfather, it's been in my family for ages. And to be honest, this Connor character, he has nothing on me. I get the best trees he ever done saw, he can't get anything. He gets these little twiggy buggers and it ain't thing good, nothing good about them. I get these nice full big ones about yay big times seven and about yay tall times 18. It's good stuff. I'll see you around, eh? Woo! Alrighty, my name is Connor Roberts. Let me just tell you, this Stefan guy, he thinks he knows what up with those big trees, those wide trees, but I'm telling you right now, I am the best woodland predator this country has seen ever in a long time. Just look at the hat. The hat says it all, and it's the primary aspect of my keen ability to find the best trees, the strongest trees, and the biggest trees. No one's going to stand in my way because when I see a good tree, I can feel it. 
within a two mile radius of my position and I will find that tree, I will saw it down and I will get that hung up in any living room looking fresh <laughs> and good looking as it will ever be in its good sapling life. Thank you. There's some bruisers over here. We gotta move. Oh, no. Uh, They're close. They're close. Guy, guys, guys. The trees, they went right through this area right here. Wrong, wrong. No? Nope, there was only ever quaking aspen right there. No, wrong. Wrong. You're wrong. No. No, wrong. No. I know what I'm doing. You're wrong. Hey, stop throwing the animals. That's a tree. Oh, sorry, I can't see anything with these on. That's actually, I think that's a good one. Oh my God. Oh this has got a good taste. Yeah, this is the one. Oh yeah. Yeah! Woo! We got him, boys! We got him! <laughs> Let's go. All right. It's my tree, guys. No, no. Get it! It's my tree. He knocked that off. I all. found it, right? Oh, you I found got it. The, you got the high ground. I found it. I got the tree. I do declare. I will be tagging this beautiful specimen. But hey, well, look, Connor, Connor, this was a joint effort. Come on, let's do it Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Woodland predator. No. Ah, this one, this one has always been mine, and it always will. Yeah, oh, there go my pit vipers, but that's all right. It's my tag, not yours. I found it, and I'm the greatest woodland predator in these woods right here. Thank you very much. That well, was an excellent catch today, made by you know, us ourselves, and uh, it was a, uh, I don't know, pretty, pretty effortless action, I would say. Uh, I mean, it was more me than you for sure. No, uh, definitely not. You were kind of slacking, really, and you kind of stole that. I um, mean, it's I not, saw the tracks. The documentary has it all there. So it, you better see it. But you know, great tree overall came out here from the old nature land. Yeah, it's good stuff. Love being the great outdoors. Real good stuff overall. A lot of hard work went into finding yeah, that tree. Definitely, definitely, real good stuff. Real happy with it too. Yeah. Enough said, all right? Enough, enough said. Yeah, well, I say we go get that beautiful thing right on in here. Come along. Yeah, let's go. What do you got there? Oh. No! Oh, no! God! <laughs> Hi, I'm Zane Siegel. This might come as a surprise to many of you, but I am actually very bad at sports. Bad is an understatement, maybe like horrible, tremendously terrible, absolutely abysmal, not very good at all, not good. But this fall, I wanted to learn some new sports. Hi. Welcome to Zane Sportman Seagull. Football. Number one on my list of sports to sport, football. Uh, my name is Dylan Fedick. My name is Luke Fedick, and we're Varsity Hawk football players, and with, today we're going to be teaching Zane some football. Yep. Oh, let's have you in the expected. Okay, so basically, uh, when you catch the football, you, you have your hands like this. And you... Although I, I knew it was gonna happen, it would scare me anyways. Yeah. Yep. Oh. The result.
resolve, football is not for me. Here, let's That could be a cool intro. Right there, the ball. Soccer. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Lucy. I play soccer and I'm a defensive center back. I'm Maggie and I also play soccer and I'm a center mid. All right, today we're going to teach Zane how to play some soccer. Yeah. <laughs> I can try that. Yeah. Your other feet. Oh. Oh, 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 Zane. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, Zane. Okay. That's, oh, 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 a double. First, sometimes you can get it on here, and then, I don't know, whatever you feel like doing. You can just start like, yeah. I'm, my goal is three. Let's try one, Zane. We'll count that as three, okay. Zane. <laughs> I can do that. Yep. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> yes! <laughs> nice. Conclusion? Soccer hurts, man. Volleyball. <laughs> volleyball. Hi, I'm Sydney and I'm a DS on our volleyball varsity team. Hi, I'm Sasha and I'm an outside hitter on our varsity volleyball team. All right, so this first drill is called blood and guts and you basically have to get a touch on 10 balls before you can get out of it. Okay, can I um, do this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Resolve? I'm not very good at volleyball. <laughs> Alright. Next up, cross country. Hi, I'm Willow. And I'm Sheila. And we're both in the JV uh, cross country team. Back straight, let's go. So you Side get, shuffle. So <laughs> lower, Zane, doing? lower. Do I have to keep doing it? <laughs> Did you do 20? I don't know, I didn't count. Yeah. One lap. One lap in under a minute, Zane. Okay. Okay, Zane, let's go. You ready? Ready? Three, Set. two, one, go! Go! Let's go! Faster! Come Hurry. on, Zane! Come on! All right, 20 oh. seconds right here. Let's go, Zane! Uh, he needs some work. He's trying his best. Yeah. Use those arms! Okay. Let's go! You did good. <laughs> okay, now how do you feel? Bad. <laughs> Too fast. <laughs> Cross country is not for me. And the cross country girls are mean. I don't think one minute is possible. <laughs> Next up, we got dance team. My name's Cambria. I'm Hannah. I'm Adele. I'm Emma. And, and we're, we're on the dance, dance team. team. <laughs> Before we start dancing, we're gonna be doing some stretches to get our bodies warmed up. 
Okay, so we're gonna go into straddle and we're gonna go over and stretch our sides. Ready, we're gonna fish through. I don't think I can do that. No, no. There you go. Does that feel good? I feel like I like I, I got murdered in this position. <laughs> I should be able to go into your splits. I can't do that, no. No, no. I don't, this is as far as it's gonna go. And over to the side. <laughs> we have a, an exercise that we do on dance team to help get our faces warmed up. A E I O U. You have to warm, yeah, like, warm, like, 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 warm up. Now we're gonna teach Zayn our routine. Said so she's tough. And then you're going to come up, and then he goes, money. And so you're gonna flip your hands over, up, down. Make hop back on that one foot, and you're gonna go up here. So you went blades, like she's little Troy. I am ready for my final performance. Are you guys ready? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay, I'll play. That was really bad. It was worse than normal. <laughs> Stay tight. You know. <laughs> uh, conclusion, dance team is really hard. <laughs> the other one was too dark, so you can see. Last up, golf. We're on the way to the golf course to golf it up. Golfing. Uh... Here we are at the golf course, and I decided to dress up a bit. Some golf attire. I brought a beret, too. was so much worse than I expected. <laughs> I'm Cora Rosanova, I'm a senior, and I'm on the girls varsity golf team. And I'm JR Small, I'm a senior, and I'm on the boys varsity golf team. So <laughs> how, do you, how do you guys normally like warm up for golf? Like realistically, uh, I like to go down. I like to bring it back up oh, yeah. to, the, to the right. Some wrist twirls, curves, whatever. To bring it straight out. Can you guys, I guess can you teach me how to like I don't I don't know what to do with this left hand yes. first right hand low ball is gonna be in between your feet we need to back up a little bit it's all in the hips <laughs> then we're gonna bring it straight back to here and straight through <laughs> hey <laughs> <the> prodigy <laughs> what didn't go far at all <laughs> When you putt, you have to keep your head down, and it's the same stance. Can I just hit it? Yeah. I'm going too hard. I missed. All right, it's after my lesson, and I think I'm ready for my first official hole. everything else. What a disappointment. Hey guys, I, I've got some bad news. Turns out I suck. I suck at football, I suck at golf, I especially suck at volleyball. Very bad at that one. So I'd like to thank everyone I filmed with, everyone I worked with. And I'd like to especially thank Beth, my camera person for filming all of this, and you for watching. <laughs>